Hello everyone, this is Devin Adams, a Fortinet certified trainer here in Tempe, Arizona with Dynamic Worldwide Training Consultant, and I record these videos for my students, uh, mostly when I do demos during class, and we obviously don't have time to see how I accomplished it from beginning to end. So, in this set of videos, which will just be a few, uh, I had someone in one of my classes bring up a very good uh, uh, situation. So essentially she wanted to have her SSL VPN users when they authenticate into the FortiGates depending on their group of what user group they come from she wanted a specific IP address assigned to them. For example sales group gets one range, marketing group gets another range, management gets another range, IT gets another range. And the reason why is because if there's other devices that are expecting a certain IP address range um, and even doing like uh, some basic access control lists and things like that, it's good to have a better control or more granular control over how those IP addresses are assigned. So um, we've already configured SSL VPNs in another set of videos. Um, but I'm going to actually pick up right where this one left off. So in that video, we configured an SSL VPN to happen um, with just the sales group. And we let the FortiGate just pick out an IP address for us. And why does it even need to do that? Well, we don't know where they're coming from. See this somewhere. We don't, we don't have a clue. And we don't want them just to happen to, to have the same IP address as something on our internal network. So... Um, so to keep that from happening, uh, we're, we're going to pass out IP addresses. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, if we go to our VPN and we look at our portal here, all right, we have one for sales group already. And if we double click that, all right, you can see that we told the FortiGate just to use a random set of IP addresses. So how does the FortiGate get that? Well, I'm assuming that it just takes a, a something in the class A range and just assigns it automatically, um, something that it knows that it's not being used. So let me go to our SSL VPN settings here. Um, and it's right here where it says, automatically assign addresses and then it just it just randomly popped up with these numbers but that's not going to be our goal here our goal is going to be different um, IP addresses depending on who's logging in so in order to accomplish this we're going to have to create the address objects for those ranges and then we're going to configure the SSL VPN portal and then we're going to configure the firewall policy to make it happen and then we're going to go on to this machine here and, and test it out to see if it works. And just to kind of pick up where we left off last time, if we go to our monitor, I already have Paul, our salesperson, logged in. And what's kind of neat about this too is that you can see what his home IP address is. It's 192.168.1.100, right? And he probably got that from his little cable modem from his, from his uh, home you know, provider, from his ISP provider. But we pushed him down the tunnel, and he got the IP address of 10.212.134.200. And the FortiGate just picked some random number there uh, in those last three octets to, to assign out so they're not conflicting with the internal side. So, um, all right, guys, that's going to be our goal. And that's going to be our first video here. And I'm going to try to keep, I promise, keep these as short as possible. So uh, when we get back, we'll go ahead and we'll configure the objects. And we'll also configure the portals. So, all right, see you soon.